globalization did to blue collar work, remote work will do to white collar work. And to, to make that more plain for the, I'm sure most people understand what's being said there, but you know, globalization meant that all of the factories and manufacturing and physical tasks that had historically been done in the United States were sent out to all these other countries. Yep. And now we're seeing, you know, reshoring of all this stuff as people get worried about, you know, geopolitical conflict and whatnot. But it's a different set of risks and, and things you're working against, right? I mean, now you've got to deal with customs and shipping times and volatility of Right. But yeah. as soon as everyone politics, as soon yeah. as everyone receded from the office into a Zoom room, in, into some sort of telecommunications yeah. and Slack and, you know, project management software, you became way more fungible with people in all sorts of different places that have way lower costs of living. And that's that's, that's a, interesting. a hard thing for a lot of people to appreciate because that hasn't been the case up until candidly like 2015. Um, and, and very poignantly 2020. Yeah, for sure. And so that is something that I see. I see it across the board. I, you know, there's a, a new company, Oceans, uh, that uh, the co-founder of The Morning Brew uh, in, invested in. Oh, interesting. And he was talking about it and he said, you know, they're hiring talent in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's, co- I, I don't know the exact number, but it's like as bottom of the cost of living barrel as you can find. And yet... In the capital of Sri Lanka, Colombo, they have a Deloitte, a KPMG, and one of the other big financial firms. Oh, interesting. And so they're doing... Well, and those people are probably making great money by Sri Lankan standards, I would think. Spectacular money by Sri Lankan standards, but an amazing deal for Deloitte. if you're serving a Fortune 500 or Fortune 1000 client and doing their audit. Yeah, that's pretty So, it, you know, whatever that billable hour uh, difference is, is probably, you know, mouthwatering. And, yep. you know... They have all this, the, the training to, to meet the KPMG and Deloitte standards. They're uh, a former English colony, so they have the English schooling system. So you're not having issues with you know, the capacity to communicate in the language of business, which yep. is English. And it's like, what do, what do you do if you're the person like who... like Cantonese is on the rise. It, it, it's on the rise, but what, if you, what do you do if you're the person that just kind of coasted through an accounting degree and doesn't really care about it and is going to try to like, you know, just you know, check in, check out, barely do any work. Like your lunch is going to get eaten by someone who is going to work their butt off for like a best in the neighborhood type of salary. So it's something people need to be aware of.